So we finally made it to Alabama about 20 minutes ago and my license was in effect at 12.30 and it's 3 o'clock right now. The plan is, if anybody watched my videos from last year during turkey season, they'll remember this property I was hunting where I had a huge power line and you could see for hundreds of yards down the power line which makes it it's pretty effective for finding turkeys from a distance kind of making a game plan on them so the game plan tonight right now is I'm gonna go check this power line I got intel from Justin on a stubborn old turkey at the end of the power line that he couldn't get on or he couldn't get to cooperate rather so I'm gonna focus my efforts on that this evening and uh in the meantime, just do what I usually do, just walk slow down these roads, call every hundred or so yards, listen, tread lightly, just keep my eyes peeled. Um, see if I can't get one fired up in the evening, that'd be cool. But um, after I do that, I'll probably wait till about 6.30 or so, and then I'm going to drive over to this 5,000 acre piece I got permission to hunt the other day. Um, guy told me to go over there and uh, they got turkeys gobbling he said um, three people have gotten on birds so far this season so it sounds like they're on fire out here in Alabama and it is a pretty bluebird day and 71 72 degrees right now feel pretty good about it so let's get it dude So they got a they got a perfect road that parallels this power line. <clears throat> the old turkey track. Real old. Looks like a hen. Real small. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a road that parallels this power line and makes it perfect for sneaking through here and navigating this power line and checking it all that good stuff so it's good cover and we got to use it to our advantage I got a feeling they're not gonna respond call I mean I got a feeling they're not going to respond well to calling. Justin and uh, Hunter have been out here calling every day for uh, about three days. About four days. The thing about that is the turkey's just been hearing it for four days it's not a bad thing it's just once they get used to hearing it so much become a little weary I'm gonna try to use I'm try to use my eyes on this hunt more than my ears I'm gonna do a little bit more calling once I get up here though Wish I had my other strap, man. I got this. Damn. I don't know what this is. Weight spandex or something. Spandex. Got this old school camo strap I usually use. I took it off and put this one on here for some reason. I'll never know, I guess. I feel like I got a toddler hanging from my neck trying to pull me down backwards. Just choking me to death. I'm about to call on this hilltop real quick. I'll get a little bit louder with my calling.
see what happens. And this will be the last time I call before I see the rest of the power line. I don't want to spook nothing before I get to it. And I don't want anything paying attention to my location while I'm trying to sneak through, if that makes any sense. So I walked as far as this road will go down the power line. They still got a good bit of power line left, but this is about the last point you can get to before you can actually go out. You know, it's the last road that goes out to the power line before you keep going. And you can see a lot from right here. So I'm going to crawl up here about 15, 20 more yards and bail on the camera. Just want less stuff while I try to crawl up there and see. I've crawled out here and seen them at like 50 yards before, so it's a good chance there could be one here. Or they could all be in these big bottoms right now, hottest part of the day. The woods are quiet. I should be able to hear one gobble from a long way off. So I got to this box blind and crawled out, didn't see nothing crawled out a little further and down this way at the very end of the property line there is what I think is a Jake and a Tom and the Tom is chasing a Jake around it looked like it's the strangest thing I've ever seen and just giving them hell so there's also two more turkeys tucked up against the wood line I'm gonna have to let my heart rate go down and go up there and get my binoculars stable for some reason I could they're so far it just boom, boom. Every time my heart would beat, I could see my uh, binoculars moving. I think my chances of calling them out of that field in the woods might be slim. They got a pretty big creek you got to cross before you get to them. I ain't gonna kill them laying right here, so. I'm gonna sneak through these woods. Get a lot closer to them. Might get to the edge of the creek. See if I can call them down and shoot them from this side. It's not really a creek as much as it is a little gully. But I don't think he's gonna pitch across it. Mm. Alright, we're about to make a move. So the power line's here, and it runs that way. They got a nice little deer trail or something right here. I'm gonna go straight through there. It's pretty thick, but I think we can suck it up. Let's go. birds should be about 250 yards away I guess I gotta roll up the old reed box doesn't feel like I'm doing the right thing. Sitting right here waiting. Oh, damn. I got my shirt open, but Rico Suave. 
I think I'm gonna have to get crazier. I mean, I only got the rest of today, all day tomorrow, and then Wednesday morning. So. I'm gonna crawl up to this power line, see if they're even still out here, because I don't want to take a chance on sitting here, and they're not even there. I saw the hen. I can't see the tom. I don't know where they're at. That hen looked like she was walking down here. I guess I'll keep standing on this log and see if they walk right here. She's like 80 yards away, he has no idea I'm right here. I wish she would have brought that Tom with her. This turkey's within shotgun range and doesn't even see me. Man, I want to get out to that power line so bad. I just had some birds fire off. I don't know if they're in the roost, but I'm about to freaking go try them out anyway. Made my walk right by those birds. Basically, <clears throat> and my voice cracked. So, basically, my camera died. I kept hearing drumming in front of me. At one point, it was like deafening. So I thought he was coming in, and I was ready. The freaking camera died. I'm sitting there trying to play with it. Well, he never came in, and I heard him drumming the whole time, like all the way until I, I swear I heard footsteps further away from me where he was before I don't know if he just decided to turn around and just give up on me just being stubborn but the last 30 minutes of daylight I'm obviously going to try to stick with him or them too because I heard him drumming and I could hear the other one walking and he drummed a couple times but that one in front of me was taking it pretty serious and then I stopped hearing it. I swear I heard him walk away. And I'm just looking around over my left shoulder. I'm just looking, and there's a turkey standing in the road next to me. Right here. There's, oh, right there. There's an opening. I can see the road. And I'm pretty sure it was a hen. I can barely see her. Or just based on what I could see of her head, I'm pretty sure it was a hen. And she just moseyed on into the woods. I don't know how far she went. I haven't heard her fly up. And usually in these pine trees, you can hear them fly up pretty good. They break every branch on the way up. And I, I heard one of these turkeys fly up earlier. Out in front of me, one of these toms. He flew up earlier than this hen did. I did the whole uh, hen flying up in a tree deal with my hat. Flapping it like a wing. 
There you go. They were right there the whole time. They could have been 100 yards just now. They just wouldn't commit. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm just chilling right now. And in about 15 minutes, I might get up and walk off further than where I'm at right here. I will hoot and see if I can get a precise location on where they're at. All right. Camera's still dead, so obviously. The turkey gobbled one time on the roost. I couldn't get him to do it again. Um, I have a buddy of mine up here in Alabama text me while I was sitting down waiting for the sun to go down. Uh, said his grandpa wants me to go film him in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go film him in the morning. Bring my gun just in case we get on a couple of them. From the way I understand that he's a real good turkey hunter, so probably learn a lot from him. But I heard one. So we'll go meet him on their big lease at five o'clock in the morning. Go get on some birds. And then I'll come back and hunt these uh, either tomorrow night or Wednesday morning. So didn't have much luck on 5,000. Um, we did get on <clears throat> that uh, first bird this morning, and I really think he had she that he had hens, and I think the hens took him over onto the neighbor's property because that's the last place we heard him was either on or real close to the neighbor's property. So what I did was come back about it's about 11 o'clock now. Just ate some lunch. And I'm going to that bird. I'm uh, going to check out that bird that I saw yesterday, way at the end of the power line. That big one that I kind of tried to put a move on and couldn't really do it. So we'll go about it a different way midday. If he's out there, we'll go deep into the woods and just come way around them. Pretty much just bushwhack them and try it out. I'm gonna leave those two birds alone that I heard last night. I'm gonna leave them alone there and uh, get after it this afternoon over there with uh, Brady. He's supposed to be coming over and we're gonna try to double team him. But for now, we're gonna put all efforts 
into stocking up on this turkey which I'm sure a lot of people know doesn't work out most of the time but today and tomorrow morning my last hunts for this trip so we about to go hard I just heard one gobble <clears throat> See if I can get him in. That's them same two from yesterday. So, just so happened to be walking right here and they went off. So, I tuck back in these woods. See what's about to happen. He hasn't gobbled in a pretty good while. So I think I'm going to back out and go completely around him. Literally stood up and he's out in that food plot. He's just feeding. sit and call one for about an hour and I gotta go pick up Brady he's gonna come on with me this evening Brady I'm shooting tonight boy let's go boy's out there by himself
Where is it? Huh? Where'd he go? How far you thought it was? Forty. That's a long forty. <laughs> Flip them with something, or I guess we ought to do it. I do, we'll be peppers or shit, man. Can't be too sure. I got nothing left. Did you do body soak it off like that? No, I got holes inside, man. Got drain it. So, my boy misjudged the distance on that turkey, which is cool, it's all good. It happens. I don't, I don't think he could have killed it from 60, but he thought it was 40. We saw them same turkeys that I saw last night with that bearded hen, and he's about to go give it a shot. And I'm going back to this turkey I was on earlier this afternoon and last night if he's not in that food plot I, might, I may just set up and not even call we'll see so it, it started raining on me pretty good I had to take the camera off of the tripod and put it under my shirt and it's been in there for about 30 minutes. Well, while I was sitting here, he gobbled twice and gobbled once, real far, and then once right in front of me. And then he actually came out in the food plot <clears throat> and stood on the edge for what felt like a lifetime. He was real nervous, but I was not moving when he came out. I think it was just the the rain making him real nervous. He turned around and went back in the woods. But he came out of there and stood on the edge while it was raining. And when it slacked off, he went back into the woods. I haven't called a bit. He's doing all this on his own. I might wait a little while, about 30 more minutes, see if he gobbles on his own. <coughs> set up in that food plot I was hunting that bird in yesterday afternoon where he came out and stared at the food plot and then left this morning I got a Jake and a hen out there Jake and a hen decoy I haven't heard him gobble yet he, I'm pretty sure he's on that ridge out in front of me oh there he goes he's right down that road hopefully he pitches Pitches down and sees these decoys all the way down this road. I put the decoys to where once he steps out on the road and he can see this food plot, he'll see the Jake and the hen together. He can pretty much see it from every direction that you can come into this food plot. And I know he likes to walk down that road. He did it twice yesterday. So, I'd like to be a little closer, but just do this, see what happens, I guess. Feeling pretty good about the Jake Hen set up. I didn't think he'd be roosted that far over that way, which honestly, he's not that far. I got this hot ass merino wool mask I found in my bag. Brought my bag to carry these decoys in. Found this in there. So. Anyway, dude, about to chill out. Hang out here for a little while. I'll probably get up about eight o'clock and head back to the camp. I've gotta, gotta head home. In case you're wondering, I brought the uh, GoPro instead of the good camera because yesterday there was a 30% chance of rain and I got poured on. And today there's a 50% chance of rain. 
So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get poured on. So, I'm not real sure what happened this morning, but I think I got on film the last time he gobbled and he was not very far at all. And I waited about 20 more minutes and never saw him. I don't know if I made him nervous with that uh, Jake decoy. He's already a nervous turkey. So I don't know if that, if he's like a subordinate bird that I have no clue. So he never came in. I heard a hen. I tried calling to the hen. And uh, so I'm just bailing on him. Got about 45 minutes to get back to camp. So I'm gonna just run and gun. See what happens.